welcome back. We have been talking with Carlos Ramirez, 20 year Navy veteran who has his own business. He became an entrepreneur after serving in the Navy. And he also in becoming an entrepreneur has a business for veterans assisting veterans. He majorly will help with disability benefits. And he also has a team of realtors that can help you locate coming right out of the service, or if you already have been out of the, out of the service and you want to sell your home and buy another home, uh, they can help with all of that. And they are experts at helping veterans because they themselves are veterans. And we all know that we have different uh, eligibilities available to us because we are members of the military or have served in the military. Thank you so much, Carlos, for sharing this information. This is great information. Thank you. How do they get in touch with you? So um, our website, um, Vets Assisting Vets, uh, www.vets-assisting-vets.com is the, the best way to get a hold of us. Um, you would just sign up for a free consultation and that consultation uh, sends an email to us and we'll reach out and let you know exactly, uh, you know, and ask you what, what kind of services you need and go from there. Okay, thank you. Carlos also put together a short video clip of what it was like to go from the military to becoming an entrepreneur. You may, if you're following Veterans Onward to Prosperity, you'll remember that last episode at the very last of it, I told you that at some point in my journey, I got so frustrated that I basically said after 42 interviews, fine, if you don't want to hire me, I'll hire me. Did, did that also occur to you, Carlos? Is that how you became a veteran entrepreneur? Well, I, I kind of sort of, I almost, um, I, I always had the bug for to be uh, an entrepreneur. Um, and then after I retired, I, I was working for a corporate America for seven years. And then I just got, uh, I just got tired of, you know, not being able to take vacation because uh, I can't take Christmas off this year because I took Christmas off last year. Um, or um, I I need to go see the doctor, but I don't have any sick days left. Um, so I just, uh, you know, granted, I'm not that much of a better of a boss than my other boss because I'm harder on myself than any other boss is. Um, but I just like the, the ability to be able to control my life. Like I take vacation when I take vacation. I, I get up when I say I'm going to get up. I go to bed when I say I'm going to go to bed. Um, I, I buy what I want to buy. I, you know, I, and the greatest thing for me is I, I'm, you know, I have helped so many people that I'm, I'm addicted to helping people. Like the first person that I helped, um, just a quick sort story if I can. Um, so I'm laying in bed with my wife. It's 11 o'clock at night. We're, we're sleeping. The phone rings and it's a lady crying. So my wife is like, why is it 11 o'clock at night? A lady crying on your phone. <laughs> Come to find out as one of the vets that I've helped. She was retired and she was only at 10%. Um, disability, I was able to get her, uh, help her to get to 90%. And her and her husband were just like emotionally overjoyed. Um, and they called me crying and they were like, we love you, Carlos. I mean, it was just, uh, I get I get goosebumps even now uh, thinking about it because that's a family that was not getting any kind of disability benefits. And to go from nothing to now they're getting like 2000 something dollars a month um, is, and, and their back pay was like, uh, they had a, like eight months of back pay that they got. Uh, it, it's just, uh, you know, life-changing. And yeah. I, that, that just got me addicted to helping people, especially Oh, that. that's so cool, Carlos. I, I definitely can relate to that feeling of elation when you've helped someone so much so that it's made a huge difference in their lives. Thank you so much for what it is you're doing. Now, speaking of helping someone who really needs that kind of help, the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard all have emergency funds. 
If you're in the Army, the Army Emergency Relief Fund is where you would go. There's a Navy Marine Emergency Fund. Air Force has theirs as well, and Coast Guard has theirs as well. If your back is up against the wall and you're having difficulty meeting your expenses, please park your pride and reach out for that help. It's what that's there for, is to help in the case like that. It is just a temporary boost in that situation. Please continue to stay tuned to Veterans Onward to Prosperity because just as it says, all the information, resources, and sources we give is exactly for you to move forward. We don't want anybody stuck. We don't any, want anybody to have to guess what they should do and where they should go and how they should do it. We are here to provide all of that for you with our guests as we bring them on the show. Carlos, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate all of your expertise and we look forward to the future with people that are reaching out to you and your team. Next month is Mission Mental Health Possible. You heard me right, Mission Mental Health Possible. We are going to be talking, frankly, about all of the issues in the mental health arena that transitioning from the military to civilian life, even while we're in our military experience, such as PTSD, anxiety, depression, survivor's guilt, all of that, we are definitely going to be dealing with head on. We got guests with expertise in assisting us with our challenges that we face every day because of our experience. So please stay tuned to Veterans Onward to Prosperity, especially all in the month of May. Until then, this is Master Sergeant Anna Maria Blivin reminding you, be the best you you can be.